Conjunctival preparation. Surgery begins with the preparation of a limbus-based conjunctival flap. After incision of the conjunctiva, tenon's layer is grasped and incised until the sclera is exposed. Adhesions of tenon's layer with the corneoscleral junction are cleared with a pair of blunt scissors. Antimetabolite application. Before scleral flap dissection, two half circular cell sponges soaked with the antimetabolite mitomycin C are placed on the sclera to minimize scarring of the conjunctiva after surgery. The conjunctiva is then laid over the sponge for five minutes. Irrigation. The conjunctiva is retracted, the sponge is removed, and the area is then irrigated with saline solution. Flap preparation. After marking the width of 4 mm for the scleral flap, the edges of the flap are incised to approximately half of the scleral thickness. Freehand dissection is carried forward uniformly into clear cornea, anteriorly to the trabecular meshwork. Now the scleral flap is constructed by tangential preparation within the sclera using a crescent blade. The flap should be dissected up into the clear cornea. Acetylcholine injection. A paracentesis is created and acetylcholine injected into the anterior chamber to constrict the pupil for iridectomy. Trabeculectomy. During trabeculectomy, a scleral block, including some trabecular meshwork, is excised. The anterior incision is in clear cornea and the posterior incision near the scleral spur. Iridectomy. The iris is grasped and pulled and a section of the iris is cut using scissors. This forms a triangular opening in the iris called iridectomy. Aqueous humor pours out from the anterior and posterior chamber. Flap fixation. Three nylon sutures are used to secure the flap. If the flap is adapted too tightly, outflow is restricted and postoperative intraocular pressure is high. If the flap is adapted too loosely, overfiltration occurs, leading to post-operative hypotony. The knots are buried to avoid irritation of the conjunctiva. Outflow test. When injecting saline solution through the paracentesis, the anterior chamber is reformed. Aqueous can be seen to escape under the scleral flap. Conjunctival sutures. The conjunctiva is repositioned. Tenon's layer and the conjunctiva are then closed with running sutures of reabsorbable material. Filtering bleb formation. 
When injecting saline solution into the anterior chamber, a conjunctival filtering bleb is formed and the wound is checked for leaks.